Hi everyone, Daily Brightness here. Um, I'm Millie, you all know Rachel too. As you can see, me and Rachel are wearing our Daily Brightness aprons that we've made ourselves. Just come a bit closer so you can see. If you want one, put in your order. We can get one sorted, not a problem. Um, quarantine's got us being a little bit creative because it's not always easy to access certain things that you need, um, obviously with the situation the world is in. So yeah, we thought, why, why not do it ourselves? So that is what we did. Um, so yeah, today me and Rachel are taking part in a baking challenge. As you can see, that is all the baking materials. However, there's a twist. Me and Rachel have been given a list of ingredients and very little instructions. So <laughs> we don't know what is going to come out of the oven and what it's going to look like, what it's going to taste like. Are we going to be ill? Nobody knows. So we will find out. But yeah, we are taking part in this baking challenge in support of Hit Against Hit. So Hit Against Hit was set up to raise vital funds to support the domestic violence charities, Women's Aid and Refuge. And they're working day and night to support survivors of abuse through online chats, phone services, offering refuges um, and free travel to help them escape the perpetrators of abuse. Um, so, you know, something that we're really passionate about um, and we really want to share this message and, and get everybody on board, really. And, and know that you're not alone. Um, there's always help out there. It's, it's just finding it. So, yeah, really proud to be supporting this. Um, through this Bake Off Challenge. Just a little bit of info is um, Counting Dead Women has identified at least 16 killings between the 23rd of March and the 12th of April, including those of children. Um, in the year ending 2019, an estimated 2.4 million adults experienced domestic abuse, 1.6 million being women and 786,000 being men. Uh, which those numbers just blow my mind and yeah it's just awful to know that so many people are experiencing uh, domestic abuse and it doesn't matter whether you're male female an adult a child nobody should ever experience that and nobody should be treated like that either it's um it's not what you're brought into this world for it's you know for happiness and and love and care and yeah making memories with with people not um not kind of making them feel worthless and, and beating them and, and putting bruises on them. And yeah, it just, it's, you know, it, it makes me angry. I'm, uh, it's definitely something that I'm passionate about and, and David Brightness is passionate about and Rachel will say exactly the same. So yeah, we're really proud to be on board. And obviously with quarantine, these, these numbers are only going to go up. Um, you know, you have to think people have been trapped inside for so so long um the stress levels are going to increase you know they can't escape as easily so yeah i think it's it's a real strong message that we're getting out there even though it's a bake off and you know it's going to be fun and and joking and um, the message behind it is is really really important and yeah like i said we're going to do everything to to support it so we hope you enjoy the video um, and share the importance of hit against hit and what they are trying to do because um, it really is amazing and it could it could save people's lives really that is the bottom line um, and allow people to live a, a normal happy life um, and abuse free I think that's the the most important message that we're trying to get out there so yeah as I said onto the baking so we've been given um, a list of ingredients we've been given very little instructions and yeah so here we go just before I start I actually with quarantine couldn't get a hold of all the ingredients so instead of making an excuse I just used an alternative I couldn't get cocoa powder so I'm using um, hot chocolate so we're gonna give it a go I'm sure it'll taste the same I couldn't get a certain type of cherries so I've got a different set of cherries not a problem I've got everything else the only other thing I don't have is scales however that's fine I found an app called Cupify and I put in, so I measure it in um, millilitres in the jug and then it trans, it tells me what it is in grams. So I baked a cake the other day, it tastes absolutely amazing, I'm not just saying that. I also baked a lemon meringue and that was the same, it was unreal. So they are my scales on my phone. So guys, anyone out there with no scales and you can't get a hold of them anywhere because every baking product is sold out during quarantine, um yeah just download copify on your phone and away we go 
Right, let's, and this is the first time I am actually reading the instructions, so I am literally, this could go really good or really bad, so let's have a look. So I've got my eggs, I've got my caster sugar, I've got my whipping cream, um, I didn't have grease proof paper, so I'm just going to use margarine like my nan used to teach me and just rub that so it doesn't stick, that'll be fine. Right, so it says, switch the oven onto 180 degrees, right, let's go. That's it. Also, if you do see some dogs running in the background or jumping up on the side, that's just Frank uh, and Zeus. Um, yeah, if I try and shut them out of the kitchen, they'll just scratch the door to bits. So I thought I'd let them in on the fun, as long as they don't eat it. <laughs> so, right, switch on, done that. Uh, light the grease and line your tin. Yeah, that's fine. Not a problem. With this, oh god, that's getting everywhere already. Don't worry about the mess, guys, when you're baking, it's fine. My nan always says it's part and parcel of it. I just get a little little bit of paper. My nan taught me this as a child, and you're grease proofing. A little bit of paper, don't use tissue because it'll dissolve and then you'll get tissue in your in your cake which we don't want we don't know what it's going to taste like as it is let alone with bits of tissue in i hope you're getting on okay rach this will be fun and dexy will be in there as well so i'm just greasing my tin we don't want that cake sticking if it's even a cake i don't know what it is but we'll see Right, that is that done. I'm going to put that in the sink. And if you need, just the best thing about an apron, just whack it on there. Right, oh, phone's gone off. Right, okay, I've done that. Separate your eggs into two large bowls. Whisk your egg yolks until a little paler, but not so they are too thick. Oh, well. This is another thing, I only have one large bowl, so again, we're going to have to adapt to the situation. I know I have another one somewhere. Haha. <laughs> right, separate your eggs. And this is going to be hard because we only have so many. Right, it said six large eggs. Okay, here we go. God knows what this is going to turn out like. I guess I'm putting yolk in one. I hope I don't get any shelling. Whoa. Ugh, eggs are awful. Right, that one goes in there. One egg down. I wonder what it is we're baking. Well, it's chocolate anyway, and I love chocolate, so I'm going to like it either way. And just if you're wondering, I did wash my hands before I started video. Um, doing the video so don't worry guys I had clean hands ah the eggs whoa ah, a bit of floaty shell oh no right my eggs cracked a bit but you can't waste eggs these days so it's just gonna have to go in and I've got shell in that one Oh well, won't it? Frank! Frank. <coughs> Post here. Frank, goodbye. That's. Thank you. Four. Sorry about the dog, guys. So far, so good. I've only cracked one egg a little bit. 
which is fine. It's not going to hurt. One more egg. I hate eggs like this. Oh, that's a big egg. Right, that is the eggs done. I'm just going to wash my hands now because I don't want raw eggs on there, do we? Right, just get rid of that. Okay, next step, it says whisk the egg yolks in until a little paler but not so they are too thick right so egg yolks are first when we were little my nan used to make us use a hand whisk so your arms used to be dying so i'm grateful for this how do you even know what? Right, it says you don't want them thick, so... That'll do for them. Just going to give them a rinse because we need them for the other set of eggs. Perfect. Right, that's the egg yolks whisk. They look a little bit lighter. Would you say they're lighter, Rach? Yeah? It'll do. Right, now add caster sugar. Oh, I should have kept that in. Add, add caster sugar and whisk until just incorporated again not too thick right well i'm gonna have to just go off this a minute because i need to go onto my app to measure so oh let me just check 150 grams so that's 157 mil right now this is literally oh sugar's going everywhere Let's just, let's just clear that bit up. Dogs are already hyper enough, don't want them getting any more sugar. Oh. Right, sorry guys, just heard something in the garden, I didn't know what it was. Probably the dog's just trying something. Right, that's 150. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say that's 157. Maybe that's 150, sorry. Yep, yeah, that'll do. Right, back to the instructions. So it says, add the caster sugar and whisk. Right, get that in there. On to the whisking again we go. This looks awful. I think it looks better than this one. Right? Oh, that's a bit of a Right, again, it said it wouldn't want it thick, so just into the top of it's thin. Which I think it is. That'll do. Right, next, um, sift the cocoa powder and mix it in. Well, here comes the hot chocolate. <laughs> oh, God, this is hilarious. Right, let's see how this turns out. Where's my sieve? Right, let's do that. Well, 
Well. So that'll do. Good little testament there. Yeah, perfect. Mary Berry, eat your heart out. By the way, me and Rachel love Mary Berry. We do actually really like bacon. Get that in there. Every little drop. And we put it through the sieve so... Hey, stop it. Stop barking. We put it through there so it's not lumpy. I know we're whisking it, but... Back to the instructions. Let's just mix it. Well, it's a bit dusty. Hey, baby. Hello. Frank's come to have a look at what we're doing. Right. Make sure I get it all off the edges. chocolate fly about there flying out the, the thing no worries i'll just wipe it on my daily brightness apron right now whisk the egg whites until they are at soft peak stage right i'm lost already right it says now whisk the egg whites until they are at soft peak state. I'm guessing that means fluffy and when you pull... Frank, get off. Oi, shh, off. He's trying to eat the egg, the shell egg. Get off. So I'm guessing that means when I do that, they stay like a peak. I don't know. Uh, then it says very gently, bit by bit, fold into the chocolate mixture so you can't see any lumps of egg white pour into the tin bake in the middle of the oven until the cake is cooked keep your eye on it it won't take too long it should be puffy and springy do i put Uh, I'm super confused. Rach, I'm not sure about you, but do I put the chocolate in the egg whites or do I put the egg whites in the chocolate? No idea. I'm just going to um, wash the whisks, the end of the whisk. Frank, get off. The little piggy. Not allowed the chocolate, are you? Right. That was just to get all the chocolate off, so now that's off. Oh god, I'm confused. When does that come in then? Right, soft peak stage, guys. That is what we're aiming for. Don't know what that looks like. No bloody clue. Well, I don't know if you can see, I'll show you after what they look like. It's getting a bit frothy. <gasps> God, I nearly tipped it out. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll show you at the end. Let's 
Trent. Definitely not bad. Right, now it said soft peak, so would we say that's soft peak? That might be it. Soft peak or not. I don't know what soft peak. It's not even making the peak because it's running off. it guys soft peak all right i'm going for it i'm saying that's it now it says very gently bit by bit fold into the chocolate mixture so you can't see any lumps of egg white does that mean i use a spoon i seem to remember my nan saying something like this so bit by bit it says so I'm just going to pour that over it. Right, is that going to be covered in there? Because this is a lot of... This is a lot of egg white. This is a lot of soft peak. I'm just going to put them in there. Guys, I don't know if it's meant to look like this, but I'm going to give it a go. Slowly fold it in. And there's no white lumps. Is there even enough chocolate mixture here for this? I'm trying to be as gentle as I can. This is a... No, I'm set. when it means fold, I'm literally just like folding it over. And I seem to remember my nan saying that. And she said very gently. She didn't mention the whisk, so I'm not using it. Just keep folding it. This bit's nearly done. You can add the last little bit. I'm saying I'm being gentle, but everyone's probably watching going, you're too rough with it. Hey ho, what will be will be. Right, I think we're ready for this bit more. <laughs> right, I don't know what we are baking. And I don't know what is coming out of that oven. But we will see. We will see. Just keep folding. bit of a slow process right little bit more guys last little bit i think i nailed that so far so good I think it's well i'll show you when it's done right it said so you can't see any lumps of egg white okay that was maybe i have to break it up a bit Pouring it in. 
slowly. Absorbing. Still a few lumps of white, so I'm just going to keep going a bit longer. I hope all this mixture fits on that tray. I feel like my apron's too clean to say I've baked. Oh, wow, I don't know if this is what it's meant to look like, however, well, God, I need to stop doing that. Right, fold, fold, fold. Right, that's all the lumps gone. Okay, now, pour it into the tin. Now, this is the bit, I'm not sure how it's going to go because this looks like a lot of mixture for my little tin. Although... We were given dimensions and I did the dimensions. Oh crap. That's it. No, I, I literally can't fit any more in there, guys. So that bit's just going to have to be thrown away. Right, now it says bake in the oven until the cake is cooked. I don't know when the cake is cooked. Keep your eye on it. Right. Here it goes. Just going in. My chocolate cake is going in the oven. Bake in the middle of the oven. Right. I guess that's all we can do for now. Right, I think it's cooled off. I don't think it's cooked enough, but it is what it is. I ruined it by touching it because I couldn't wait and I was impatient. I've put a hole in over here as I've tried to pull it out of the oven and put my thumb straight through it. Hence why I don't think it's cooked enough. But you know what? We'll just have some fun with it. So now I've got another piece of parchment paper and here's my powdered sugar. I think I'm supposed to just sprinkle all this over. Whatever, give it a whack. This is supposed to be fun, I think. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if I'm supposed to cover it, whatever. The more the better, I say. This tastes really, this feels really nice, soft. It feels like flour, which is a bit weird. Right. I don't know if this is right. Whatever. Right. Right, now to tip this, I have to get this from here to here, but I'm not sure how. And I'm probably gonna break it on the way, but you know what? Whatever, I'm gonna get a little knife. Yeah, look, it's like foam, it's not cooked enough. I don't know what to do here. I'm just gonna. Oh well, there's more for me. I'm trying to flip it, but the edges are still touching the pan. Right. <laughs> This isn't turned out the way I wanted it to. Right. Well, I don't know what to do. It's too soft. I'm, I'm panicking. If it doesn't look right, it doesn't matter. Right, I'm going to just give it a go. I'm going to straight flip it. 
Oh no. It's too soft, it's splattered too hard, I can tell. It's a disaster. Oh, I'm panicking. Tastes good, if that's any consolation. Oh no, it's sticking. Right. Oh no. It's like I pulled half the cake away, but don't worry. Oh no, this one. Well, I think I've pulled half of the cake away. I don't think that was supposed to happen, do you? Doesn't matter, more for me. Right, next bit. I'm back! Cooey! Right, let's see if this cake... Surely it's got to be cooked. It said it wouldn't take too long. Right, I'm saying that's done. I feel like it's overdone. Right. It says leave until it's completely cold well the cream is I think I've ruined the cream I've learned a mistake that's fine we we'll live and we we'll learn don't we we live and we learn Right guys, the cake is cooled. I think. I really don't think this has turned out right at all. I don't know if it's even... <gasps> I don't know how to get it out. I'm trying to loosen it. Oh, this is not going well. Already got a piece on. Please. Ha ha! Right. Now. I'm just going to try it. Right, now, do the whipping cream shake. I'm going to use one cup of, one cup of whipping cream. Oh, that looks nice. I'll drink that, mate. Get that in there. Add these back on. Uh oh, bear with me. Oh. I just broke that. Okay, we start again. Okay. Right, see what this turns out like. I'm going for fluffy cream. Let's go for fluffy cream. Woo. So this is called whipping the cream. 
screen. I don't know what this is meant to look like. Spread the cream where? All over it? This cream's really gone wrong. But guys, we're going to have to just deal with it because it's all we've got. I feel like the cream's going to make it a bit soggy. So I did the cream too early. That cream should be puffy and white. Oh well! Right, right, now I've done the cream, I'm going to just neatly chop off this edge because it looks awful. We will waste it. Save that there for later. We'll neaten up this edge. You know what? We'll eat that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Now, oh it's lovely that. I'm gonna just chop this paper a little bit so I think it might make my rolling technique. I need any help that I can get. So we'll set that off to a side. Right, here's where the fun begins. I'm gonna attempt to roll this. Now, not entirely sure how this is gonna go.
Oh no. It's broken. I'm not sure where to go from here. Oh no, it's absolutely caved. Um, let's try and roll it there. Pat that down. And then I'm not sure what to do about <laughs> that end. Maybe I'll just cut that end off or I'll roll it one more time. Wow, a bit of powder just going on there. But that is my Rachel Daly's Swiss roll. I'm going to cut it in half, I think. No, you know what? I made a huge mistake, guys. I was supposed to put raspberries in it. I'll do that later. I like that. I like the look of it. I'm not, I don't want raspberries in it. I'm scared. Ah. I need to tip it back, tip it back, tip it back. I need that to stick. <laughs> Guys, I've done it, however, I just need to readjust it a little bit. Oh my god, I've done it! I got it. Right, finishing product, guys. I've made it. With limited instructions. I'm very disappointed with the cream, however, I've so, so look, cause look, cream made it too watery. However, that's that's fine, not a problem. Now we just got to take a picture for the finishing touch. Haha, <laughs> voila! Chocolate blood. Right, guys. So that is me and my baking challenge done um i wonder how rachel's got on are you getting on rach doing all right so thank you for watching like i said although we had a lot of fun the message behind this video is very powerful and very strong so um keep raising awareness uh, keep raising awareness um keep raising money so that these unbelievable charities can keep supporting people um, that are suffering from domestic abuse. So thank you all for watching and see you next time.